Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Neneman with Neneman Chiropractic Clinic and thanks for joining us again in another week in our video blog series. This week I'm going to expand on what I talked about last week. Uh, you know, last week I talked about uh, you know, what's the best type of pillow for you to use, you know, how you should uh, you know, buy new pillows often you know, once they break down. Well, this week, uh, you know, I didn't mention this last week, but I want to talk about those people who sleep with two pillows. That is a big no-no. If you sleep with two pillows, stop doing it. Um, you know, some people start out that way. They're watching TV in bed, so they, you know, to elevate them, themselves to see the TV, they, they sleep with, you know, they have the two pillows underneath their head, and then they fall asleep that way. Um, and it, it's just, it's, it's terrible for your neck. You know, one of the things I've, I've mentioned in previous blogs, uh, I've touched on it, it's called anterior head carriage. And when you look at a person from the side, when you, basically if you were to draw a line from through their ear canal down, it should pass through the, through the middle of the shoulder. Uh, you know, that, that would mean that you have a proper curve in your neck and that everything's lined up properly. Again, a line straight down through the ear canal down and it should pass through the middle of the shoulder. Well, a lot of people, uh, their head has gone forward. Uh, again, it's called anterior head carriage, but their head has gone forward and it sits forward of their shoulder. And this puts a tremendous amount of stress on the spine, the, you know, the facet joints, the nerves, the muscles, the tendons. Uh, causes a lot of problems. So when you sleep with two pillows, it pushes that head forward uh, to where, again, you're putting your, your head in an, an abnormal position. It's going to jack that head up and forward. Uh, and it's going to cause you to lose the proper arch in your neck and again it's going to cause that head to shift forward of your shoulder and cause anterior head carriage so again big no-no uh, hopefully the way I just explained this you're going to see why it's, it's, a, uh, it's a bad thing uh, again it's going to cause loss of curvature and anterior head carriage cause a lot of stress to your neck so you know if on a daily basis if you're having neck pain headaches this could be one of your issues is sleeping with two pillows so you need to go back to one and, you know, and at first it may be uncomfortable, uh, but you'll get used to it. Um, you know, and that's, that's another thing I forgot to mention last week is that, you know, adjusting, adjusting to any new pillow, um, there's, there's going to be an adjustment period. You know, it's, it's going to feel crappy for a few nights, but once you get used to it, it, it should make you feel better in the long run. So I uh, hope this, this is helpful. Uh, next week what I'm going to talk about, uh, kind of expanding on this again, is I'm going to go into sleeping positions. Uh, just body positions, you know, lay, you know, stomach sleeping, back sleeping, side sleeping. I'm going to expand on that next week. But thanks for uh, listening in again this week. Have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy the start of the NCAA tournament, March Madness. Uh, we'll see you back next week. Thanks.